Hello guys, welcome back, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create wall niches in Revit. Before starting the video I would like to ask you guys to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In order to create niches family, we need to go to file, click on new and click on family, now we have to choose a template here. We are going to use a generic model face based. Select the template and open it up. Now we are on the floor plan level of this template. We have two reference planes here and a sample geometry to use as a reference. We need additional reference planes in order to make a parametric family. So click on the on the create tab then click on the reference plane and create some reference planes like so. Create two more horizontally. Click on the align dimension then dimension these two and click on the equal. So these two reference planes are now equal. Now give an overall dimension which is going to be a parameter. Let's add the width parameter first. So I'm going to click on this the overall dimension, then you get this label here. If you are using an earlier version, you might find this button somewhere around here. Click on create parameter here. I'm going to call this width and make it as an instance so you can change the width directly instead of going to the type properties. Do the same for the vertical ones as well. Let's call this height. Make sure you make it an instance parameter. Now we have width and height. And we need one more parameter for the depth as well. But first, we will save this file. I'm going to name it wall niche. OK. To create the depth parameter, we need to go to the front elevation. Add a reference plane here, by clicking on the create tab, then select the reference plane. Make a reference plane here. Now make an aligned dimension. Select the dimension to add a parameter. Let's call this depth. Make it instance, click on OK. Now come back to the reference level. Here we are going to create a geometry. To do that, go to create tab. And from this drop down menu, click on the void extrusion. And select a rectangle. Now draw a rectangle here, but make sure you choose the intersection of these two reference planes here. And intersection of these two as well. You must need to click on these lock icons to lock the geometry to the reference planes. Go back to the front view. As you can see here, this void geometry is outside of this reference geometry. Use this handle to take it down. Don't forget to click on this lock icon. 
do the same here as well. OK. Now we have created our wall void and all its parameters. But, we still need to do two more things to make it work. First one is, in the properties window. Here click on this cut with voids checkbox. The second thing, is cut this void here. To do that, go to modify. Here select cut geometry tool. Then choose the reference geometry first. And then click on viad. Let's load this family into our project. Go to architecture tab. And here, click on component. It's already selected. If not you can select it from this drop down menu. We better switch to a section or a 3D view to place it easily. Yep, it's working fine. So, that's it for today guys. I hope you have learned something new from this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.